What is going on guys? Sorry for the echo, but I am remodeling my basement and you are not going to believe what I found living inside my walls. Like I said earlier, I'm remodeling my basement. Um, I'm only doing it one half at a time. Reason being is we have to live on the other side of this plastic and you might say that you know hey this looks like a pretty good basement to begin with but there's a lot of shoddy work going on here that i gotta take care of because believe this or not there used to be like seven boys that lived in this house so i only have a three bedroom house um uh, they made extra bedrooms down in the basement as you can tell with the floor you can see where the old walls are at in the basement alone they had four bedrooms well when those kids moved out they took everything out and made a big wide open basement and they didn't do the greatest job on filling in the seams and stuff so they um the problem with that is they left all kind of seam work that needed to be done on these walls they wind up putting in cabinets down here which we took out now they do resemble the cabinets that we have on the other side which we decided to keep but pulling these out the guy who lived here before me was a carpenter and he built the cabinets to the wall and the problem was is he glued some of that to the wall too so when we pulled it out we ripped that paper off of the drywall i don't know if you guys ever repaired drywall when the the paperback is exposed but you get a bubbling action going on and it is horrible, horrible, horrible to fight that bubble because you put your wet compound on and what it does, it just kind of bubbles up. Kind of like what we got going down here. The only difference is, is I sprayed a little spray paint on there to try to seal that bubble as much as I possibly can. Because when I go to sand this stuff down, it's just going to be, it's going to be an absolute nightmare but it's the ceiling that I have a problem with because like I said, they, they took out the walls and they didn't fix any of the texture. They just mudded over everything and you can kind of tell where all the seams are at. So the one way I'm gonna hide that is I'm going to texture the ceiling. The problem with texturing the ceiling using this stuff is this stuff is not cheap and it has a really bad failure rate of not working. So, so you get a lot of duds is what I'm saying when you get those cans. So I'm gonna wind up spraying the ceiling with texture using a texturing gun that somebody's gonna let me borrow. The big hang up I have, and we're gonna get to what I had living in the walls in a minute. <laughs> Trust me, it's not gonna be one of those videos where I'm gonna drag you on, but I actually need your guys' help on what I need to do for the ceiling because usually in my bathroom, my upstairs bathroom I remodeled because it was in bad shape. I mean, I, I, it was horrible to say the least. But I sprayed the ceiling with water and I was able to scrape the texture off of the ceiling. And it was fairly, fairly easy job. And the problem I ran into here is this stuff is hard as a rock and it, it absorbs water, but I cannot scrape it off. So I'm gonna have to wind up knocking this stuff down and I even thought maybe they put a paint on there and that's what it was sealing it. So <clears throat> I put a little vinegar in the spray bottle and started spraying this ceiling down and I still wasn't getting anywhere. And it's absolutely a pain in the butt. So I was hoping, I was hoping you guys could give some suggestions on how to, to strip off texture off a ceiling. And because I'm, I do not want to sand this whole ceiling down because I have a whole other side of this basement to do alongside that. Oh my God, who the hell cares? So I just wanted to make a short video and ask for you guys' help and show you what I couldn't what I, what I found living in my wall. Now, so let's just get into that real quick because I know you guys are probably wondering what is living in your wall that you have to make a video about? And is this clickbait? No, it is not clickbait. This is for sure, this is the real deal. And I couldn't believe it. So, uh, I was putting this spray texture on and I was just testing it out. This, I just, cause I have a lot of seam work in here 
And I wanted to see how well that this was gonna hide this seam work. And if it wasn't gonna hide it very well, then I was gonna have to re-mud the seams and take this whole thing down. In that process, using my little knockdown sander here, I was sanding down the wall to get this texture to, to spray out and actually stick to the wall. Well, doing so, I was sanding it down and I noticed that there was a soft spot in the wall. So I, I pushed on it with my finger and pretty soon my finger turned into two fingers, it turned into four, which turned into my whole hand. Uh -uh, no way. Don't take that anywhere besides where the story's going. And then pretty soon my, my whole hand was in the wall. And I was thinking, oh great. These guys, not only did they do shoddy work on drywall, but they skim coated over like some kind of tissue paper or something to fill a hole in. And now I gotta fix a hole. Not the case. Whatever had been living in my wall <laughs> was eating the drywall too. And let's say it was making a nest out of it. You guys think you know what it is yet? I'm gonna give you a little hint. Just a little one, but it might be, it might give it away, but I'm going to give you a little hint. I'm going to show you the back of it first. You guys see that? <laughs> All right. You guys ready for the front? Yes. I had wasp. I had wasp living in my freaking wall. Check this hole out. I had wasps living inside my wall. You could tell by the sides of these nests. Look at these things. I dug that all outside of this, this hole right here. I mean, I could fit my whole hand up in here. And I was just pulling this stuff out. All right there. And that's what the little guy looks like. One little body. I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was like a honey hive, like if it was honeybees or something. And then I realized I was, the, the comb I was pulling out wasn't wax, it was actually paper. So that's a pretty much an indication that it's a wasp. But they ate this thing out, man. They, I, I was, like I said, I was falling. There's a seam right here. And they, it just pushed right through. You could tell where the seam paper was at. And they just liked whatever was in that mud. And then you can see where the seam goes down the wall. So I'm gonna have to cut this all out. I'm gonna have to cut all this out, repatch this wall, figure out how the bees were getting on the other side of the wall in through there. Because I think the way it was, I think I fixed it already because they had some old coax cable holes in there and I filled them up with some caulking. So I think that's how the bees were getting in there, or the wasp. But man, I pulled out some, I pulled out some pretty big, big things. And they still had some, they had some eggs in there still too. I don't know if you can see that. You could tell with that light shining down the wall. That's why I put it down there. You could tell, you could see where that seam is at. And it just goes all the way up that wall. And the whole ceiling's like that too. So I got a lot of work cut out for me and uh, we're gonna wind up replacing these can lights. They make an insert that goes into your old can light that's LED so you don't have to, you don't have to mess around with any of this stuff. You just pull that light fixture out, unscrew the ball, put the new one in and pop it into place. Man, were these things getting hot. You could tell they were caking on here. Go check out these cans real quick. <laughs> Not those kind of cans. Here is a little can and that gasket up top, that gasket up top there, man, it was just baked on there. Am I driving okay? These suckers were getting hot. Makes me think that they were uh, putting like floodlights in there or something. I don't know, but they were getting warm. <laughs> yeah, so needless to say, this uh, ceiling, these can lights, these walls, the nest that I'm finding inside walls, this floor, it's all gonna get redone. So we're gonna go LEDs. Hopefully I can strip this ceiling down, this texture. You guys are gonna have to help me on that because there's no way I can sand all this down. I could, but it'll kill me. And oh yeah, eventually 
we'll go with new windows too because these these ones are in bad shape you might they look good on camera but they are truly not in great shape guys they leak so bad um but that's all i had for you today i just had to share the little boogers living in my wall rent free god i don't know how many there is there i probably could have had rent and paid for the whole mortgage of this house so <laughs> freeloaders i hate them but either way i appreciate you guys tuning in and checking me out i'm sorry for the echo but like i said it's a short video but i had to show you what i found living inside my walls so all right thanks for watching i'll see you in the next episode guys